Are you listening? Damn. R. Kelly news. R. Kelly has been in the news a lot for the last couple of years. And uh, I have not covered him at all. Because frankly, I don't care about R. Kelly. And I don't think that R. Kelly moves the needle on um, a lot of my audience's radar. We know a couple of his songs. We all know Remix to Ignition. And we all know I Believe I Can Fly. And uh, we know about that reference to R. Kelly in the Macklemore song. Piss. And we know that uh, Dave Chappelle did a parody song about pee on you and poop on you. Um, but that's a, that's a great extent of it. So for my audience, I don't think we're, we're, we're all the way committed to this R. Kelly horrificness. But I am happy to report that he was found guilty this week on all charges of sex trafficking and racketeering. Good for him. He'll now face decades in prison. And I don't think I believe I can fly will get you out of a good old-fashioned prison rape. So, R. Kelly's going away. But, I'll bring this story up not because of the outcome of the R. Kelly uh, trial. I actually bring it up because... You know, when the verdict came out, all the reporters go to their respective sources. And they want to get opinions and and headlines and quotes and things of that nature. Well, some prick decided it would be a good idea to find out what Bill Cosby thinks of this whole process. Not surprisingly, and I'm going to paraphrase Trailer Park Boys here a little bit. But birds of a shit feather flock together. Uh, Bill Cosby says R. Kelly got railroaded during this process. Fuck off, Bill Cosby. (laughs) Like like this guy, um, respectfully, cannot die fast enough. The legacy he has tarnished. And maybe we were all dumb. And maybe Bill Cosby played us all. But uh, historians are going to have to grapple with the good that Bill Cosby did for the black movement, for pop culture, for for, uh, normalizing a successful black family. They're going to have to marry that with the terrible person who was behind the scenes. They're already struggling to do with it. And the longer he lives, and the more stupid shit he continues to say, he makes it harder. So, to R. Kelly, good luck in prison. I'm sure that wonderful voice of yours is going to come in handy. Uh, Bill Cosby, respectfully, shut up. And to the reporter who went out of his way to get a kind of grabber headline... Uh, and some clickbait. Fuck you too. Like, just do better at your job, jackass. Are you listening? Damn.